the city. Slate covers the roofs, or else tiles where mosses grow. Their breath flows out through the chimneys. Grease, odor of men in crowds like the stale smell of a slaughterhouse. Sour bodies of women under their skirts. O oh, city against the sky, grease. Breaths rebreathed and the smoke of a polluted people. For every city encompasses filth. In the dormer house of the little shop, on the garbage cans of the poorhouse, on the odor of cheap wine in the sailors' quarters, in the fountain sobbing in the police courtyards, on the statues of moldy stone and on strayed dogs, on the little boy whistling and the beggar whose cheeks tremble in the hollow of his jaws, on the sick cat with three wrinkles on its forehead, the evening descends in the smoke of men. The city, like an abscess, flows through the river to the sea. Crusoe, this evening over your island, the sky drawing near will give praise to the sea, and the silence will multiply the exclamation of solitary stars. Draw the curtains. Do not light the lamp. It is evening on your island, and all around, here and there, wherever arches the faultless vase of the sea, it is evening, the color of eyelids on roads woven of sky and sea. Everything is salty, everything is viscous and heavy, like the life of plasmas. The bird rocks itself in its feathers in an oily dream. The hollow fruit, deafened by insects, falls into the water of the creeks, probing its noise. The island falls asleep in the arena of vast waters, washed by warm currents and unctuous milt and the embrace of sumptuous slime. Under the propagating mangroves, slow fishes in the mud have discharged bubbles with their flat heads and others that are slow, spotted like reptiles, keep watch. The slime is fecundated. Hear the hollow creatures rattling in their shells against a bit of green sky. There is a sudden puff of smoke, which is tangled flights of mosquitoes. The crickets under the leaves are gently calling to each other, and other gentle creatures, heedful of the night, sing a song purer than the signs of the coming rains. It is the swallowing of two pearls swelling in their yellow gullets, wailing of waters swirling and luminous, corollas, mouths of watered silks, morning that breaks and blossoms, big moving flowers on a journey, flowers alive forever, and that will not cease to grow throughout the world. Oh, the color of the palm circling over calm waters, the palm leaves of the palm trees that stir, and no distant barking of a single dog that means a hut, that means a hut and the evening smoke and the three black stones under the odor of pimentos. But the bats stipple the soft evening with little cries. Joy, oh joy set free in the heights of sky. Crusoe, you are there, and your face is proffered to the signs of the night like an upturned palm.